Speaking of getting down to basics, our next Golden Apple winner has got his feet on the ground. And his hands in the dirt. In his 20-year career at Ritzville High. That's in Ritzville, east of the mountains. He's built an agricultural education program that involves over two-thirds of the school students each year. Michael Schrag teaches animal science, plant and soil science, leadership, marketing, woodworking, mechanics, and welding, among other things. He's not only creating future farmers of America, but a bunch of kids who know where their food comes from. And basically, they're learning a greater respect for the earth. From the ground up. Yep. One of the major reasons why you're here is to uh, have some recommendations to the owner of this property as far as vegetative cover. My name is Michael Schrag, and I've been teaching since 1972, or for 22 years. Because that excess back fat is going to be what? It's going to be trimmed off and thrown in a remnant barrel. I teach seven different classes in a day, so it is quite extensive and quite stressful. The yield grade that we're going to give it. And today, I wanted to show you about the plasma cutter. I enjoy really being around young people and working with them and encouraging them to be the best that they can be. Well, let's take a look at what you paid for them at the beginning here, and, okay. and then look at your grain costs and see what we have into it so well, far. Well, basically what I did was pay about a dollar per pound for different sizes of animals, so. Mr. Schrag is really unique as a teacher. It doesn't matter what you're doing or what problem you have. He's always there to help you. In my project, you know, he comes out, he looks at the calves, he maybe tells me what I need to do better. And it's not really, you know, um, based on the project all the time. He's worried about the kids. If something's wrong, he'll talk to teachers or parents, whatever he needs to do, because he really cares about the kids. Self-esteem is very important, and when a student uh, takes on an individual project, uh, he wants to succeed at it, and if I can help that student do that, then I'm building self-esteem, and I think that's really the foundation of the whole situation. I call this meeting today because we're going, we have to plan parents' night um, sometime after we get back from nationals um, to induct our green hands into the FFA. And Mr. Shags helped us gain responsibility and qualities that we can um, adapt to our other school organizations like Honor Society. We have really learned to work as a team and um, work with each other, not just um, depend on yourself to get this done. Mr. Schrag is a perfectionist. I think in all the contests that we go to, if it's not done perfectly or if it's not 100%, then he makes sure before we go, before we go to this contest, he makes sure that we're prepared. And I think Mr. Schrag has really taught us discipline and um, what dedication and how it pays off in the long run. Everything that he teaches has something to do with either real life or anything that we can put into other aspects of education. It's not just learn this because you have to, it's because it's really going to benefit you. Even if a student isn't planning to be uh, uh, on a farm, um, they still are going to eat products the rest of their life. Um, they, they still have to understand uh, where their food comes from. So if we go ahead and we take the knife and we slice through like here down this seam and now we have two pieces of meat from the round steak and what would uh, this part be called here um, let's see how about Hillary the bottom round okay this is the bottom round how did you know it was the bottom round from yesterday because it's more than one muscle if I can show an interest in that student um, and care about his project and that he does it correctly and to the best of our abilities, his or hers and mine. Um, this shows a student that I care, that I'm concerned about him. He'll spend a lot of time with you individually if you have problems and you can ask him any questions you have and he'll answer them. You know, and if you still don't understand it, then he'll uh, spread it out more so you understand it and get a better broad view of things. We are standing here today due to the tremendous efforts of both adults and students and the dedication and commitment to excellence in our school district and our school system. For that, I'm truly very, very grateful.